What is going on, sports cards fans? Ray from Philly here on Friday night, October 14th. Friday night vintage. This is a card for my 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne, PSC set registry. It's been a minute since I showed a card for this set registry. I've been engulfed into the Cardi Stremski run, uh, the call to the hall type of episodes, that sort of thing. And it's been a while. It's been like two months since I showed a card for the 300 set. This card, uh, I said in the video last night for the call to the hall episode that this would be my 205th. I was wrong. It's my 204th. So I was off by one. I got this from a really great uh, auction house that you guys might know, Mile High. Mile High Car Company. Great auction house. I've done business with them plenty of times before. And this is a 52 tops of a Yankee. 52 tops of a Yankee, man. And the 300 great cards set. First of all, how about them Phillies? One win away from going to the National League Championship Series. Red October continues here in Philadelphia. Getting stoked. Phillies play game four tomorrow on Saturday. Let's hope they wrap it up and go to the National League Championship Series. This looks great. Psyched to add this 52 tops of a legendary Yankee. No, it's not Mickey Mantle. <laughs> uh, this is the 52 tops of my, actually my favorite manager of all time, Billy Martin. The 1952 tops Billy Martin rookie and a PSA Good two. Martin was uh, my all-time favorite manager. Uh, growing up in the seventies, I got to watch him manage quite a bit. Uh, I grew up in you know Philadelphia, and I was a Phillies fan first and foremost. But we had cable in our neighborhood, and we had Channel Eleven WPIX, so I caught a tremendous amount of Yankees games, and I got to watch uh, Billy Martin manage. Also, I would highly recommend catching this uh, series that was on TV like 15, 16 years ago called The Bronx is Burning, which really uh, focuses on Reggie Jackson and Billy Martin's relationship. And George Steinbrenner during that 77 season, big season that year in New York with the blackout they had in, in New York City, the Son of Sam. It was just in, a, a wild, crazy summer. Billy Martin, though, I think deserves to be in the Hall of Fame as a manager. I think he was a lot of managers today uh, followed, a lot, followed a lot of his philosophies. Tony La Russa, for one, um, took a lot of his uh, thoughts and philosophies of managing Martins, that is. So Billy Martin, 52 tops of uh, Billy Martin's rookie card, the 204th card for the 300 great set. So now I'm going to flip the phone around. Give you guys a closer look at the card read the excerpt from the book and then move on so don't forget to check out the sports card hall of fame network uh, there's going to be more content coming up soon and let's get this uh, show on the road I've, this card looks great it's you know a little off on the bottom over here but this card is very very tough very tough to find centered i don't think i've ever ever seen one you know, even even in sixes and sevens, they, they're all centered. It's just a really tough card to find centered. Anyhow, flip the phone around, give you guys a closer look at the 52 tops Billy Martin rookie. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. First off, I wanted to show what card I'm rotating this week into the prize that I won from Dylan Double D's Vintage Baseball Cards channel. Uh, the first week I had the Mike Schmidt rookie in there. Last week I had the Carl Yastrzemski rookie. <coughs> Excuse me. This time I have the 1961 tops. Babe Ruth hits 60th homer. Can't go wrong with a Babe Ruth card. This card is also a part of the 300 great baseball card set. So give a closer look. Like I said, this is a... Uh, Fairly well centered. I think left and right, it's it's not bad at all. Uh, top to bottom is where, you know, it's it's a little thin. <laughs> but like I said, I'm happy with it. It's a good two in the new holder. No creases in there. Uh, slightly all center, top to bottom, soft corners. Tough card. Tough tough card to find 
in perfect centering, as is a lot of the 52 tops, even the mantle. Don't know why, it's just how that particular year was cut. So we're on to the book now to read the uh, excerpt from this great book by Mike Payne. Let's see some of the cards that are on these two pages. Let's see. 52 man all. I have a shot getting him. Probably not. The 52 tops Jackie Robinson. 52 tops Willie Mays. Interesting. Look at the prices on these cards. This, now this book was written in 99. Look at the value of the mantle raw. $1,200 to $1,800. What I find interesting, 52 Mays, worth more. $1,500 to $2,500. <laughs> uh, I do have this, 52 Tops Feller and the 52 Tops Gus Zernial. And now, the Billy Martin. The 1952 Tops Billy Martin, card number 175. Alfred Manuel Martin was a scrappy kid out of the San Francisco Bay Area who arrived at the Yankees clubhouse as yet another prospect from the West Coast. It didn't take long for Billy to write the book on himself. Clutch player, lots of fights on and off the field, winner. This, ca this card captures Billy long before his managerial days with the Yankees, before the bickering with George Steinbrenner, Reggie Jackson, or whatever marshmallow salesman happened to challenge Billy that day. For the Billy on this card, the future lay far ahead. I mean, as a player, he was a, a, a pretty darn good player. Um, he was a scrappy player. Uh, his most famous play, if, if you look him up, is, uh, I can't remember which World Series, 51, 52, where there was a pop-up in the infield, and he came all the way in from second base, and the ball was pretty much hit in front of home plate. Makes a game-saving catch for the Yankees to win the game. That's just the kind of player he was, just a scrappy, tough, tough player. Very, very competitive player. And that's how he was as a manager. Everywhere he went, he won. Um, he just didn't last long everywhere he went. Started with the Minnesota Twins, took them over, made them a winner, went to the Detroit Tigers, had a good season, even went to the Texas Rangers. They improved from like fourth place to second the year he was there. Then goes to the Yankees, wins the pennant in 76, Wins the World Series in 77. He's gone in 78. And then the back and forth. He goes to the Oakland A's in the early 80s, and that's where the term Billy Ball came up. Changed that team around. That team was lousy after the swinging A's early 70s team. Uh, to totally disbanded by Charlie Finley. He comes in taking over a terrible Oakland A's team in, I think, 80-81 and made them a contender. Then goes back and forth to the Yankees, oh, I don't know, 10 more times. But just a great manager. Uh, his mind, he was always two, three steps ahead of everyone else. So I'm a fan of him as a manager. So there you have it. My 204th card for the 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne. None other than the 52 tops, Billy Martin. And that's it. All right, guys. I appreciate all your likes and comments. Stay tuned for more PSA graded baseball cards. Like I always say, have fun with it. Go Phillies. Go Eagles. Philadelphia. A hot town right now. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great night.